has the tickets. This is the Century, a luxury cruise ship. She's heading out for the exotic Eastern Caribbean for a week of tropical sunshine. And on board is Yorkshire singer Jane MacDonald, back in the Caribbean after a year away. The last time Jane was on a cruise ship was as resident singer on the good ship Galaxy. This was a big break for her, even though she was homesick for her mum back in Yorkshire and yearning for her Danish boyfriend, Henrik. And then, of course, there were those terrible nerves of hers. I could be sick right now, I'll be honest with you. I could just throw up. In fact, I might do. <laughs> Won't you please welcome our star, Miss Jane McDonald. <laughs> But on stage or off, Jane was game for anything. Oh, I'm in a parachute. It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. In the end, with a little help from her friends, friends like Granville the bar waiter from Jamaica, and of course, Jack the dancer, Jane faced up to her fears and took them head on. Right, let's go and show these Americans what an English girl can do. Ladies and gentlemen, Jane McDonald. Eventually, after what became a triumphant cruise for her, Jane left the galaxy bidding her friends farewell. From the sunshine, Jane flew home to a wet and windy Wakefield and headed straight for her mum's house, but this time bringing boyfriend Henrik home to meet the family. <laughs> nice to meet you too. And Jane's mum, Jean, Tony, Jane's big brother, and Janet, her sister, all liked what they saw. What do you think, Mother? Just right. He's lovely, isn't he? Just right, yes. He's I a like lovely him. guy. Yeah. He is. I think he's passed the test. He's oh, loving it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Within days of getting home, and with everyone's delighted approval, Jane and Henrik announced their engagement and plans for a wedding in six months' time. It was the start of an extraordinary fairy tale for Jane, and the reason she's now back in the Caribbean. For this is the eve of her wedding, to be held on an island paradise tomorrow, the latest event in a year she insists she'll never forget. Not half. <laughs> it, one minute, it, I was like, just Jane MacDonald, the club singer again. And then the next minute, the cruise went out, and I was Jane MacDonald in the papers, on the telly every two minutes, and, and it was very daunting, actually, what actually happened. But fantastic, obviously, and I thank you very much. It was, it was great. It was, a, it was great. The response from the public was absolutely tremendous. Of course, your first gig after the series was on your home turf, wasn't it? Cricklestone Working Men's Club. Oh, my goodness. I think that's when it really hit me that things had changed a little bit. I arrived with my family and it was packed out and I just couldn't believe it. And the guy on the door said, I'm sorry, love, you can't come in. He said, we're full, we've been full since half past six. And I said, you daft bugger, I'm the turn. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please welcome on stage the fabulous lady from Cruz, Miss Jane MacDonald. Peacock Estate, and uh, if anybody saw the 
first episode, you'll have met my other half. Yes. And we're getting married. <laughs> my, my mother says, thank God for that, I can get rid of her. I, th I don't mind marriage, I just think the hours are a bit too long, don't you? You are. He's in Florida earning some money to keep me in the style I'm accustomed to. <laughs> It was a very special night for me. Cringleston was like a farewell to that chapter in my life. And what better way to go? And it was just two months later, I was invited to Blackpool to appear at the Opera House, obviously the Mecca of the North. It was sensational. And the great thing was, Henrik flew over for two days to be with me. Just a great, great theatre. It's Jane McDonald. When are you getting married? Next six weeks. So that's it. Good Thank you a lot. You. Cheers. See you again. I'm really professional now. <laughs> okay, I'm in. Here we are. See you later. There's a whole box of fair men in your dressing room. Oh, yeah, right. And flowers and champagne. Is there really? Yeah. Have I got the key to you? <laughs> <laughs> Does everybody recognise this chap? Yes, it's the man. The man in real life. So we're lovely. lovely. So we'll just go and have a look at the well, stage. Oh, my God. Oh my God! Just look at this stage. Good grief! Well, this is a bit different to Cringleston Working Men's Club, isn't it? <laughs> look at this. This is just fantastic. There's just something about being in a live theatre, isn't there? You know. I just hope I can do them all proud and do a good show for them. You know. I want everybody to have a really good time tonight because I know I'm going to enjoy every minute. One, two... The rehearsal, which is always daunting, you've got new orchestra, you've got new people, but because Henrik was there, it just gave me that extra strength I needed, and it turned out to be extremely special. the tower before curtain up. Oh my goody aunt. Do you like the heights? Uh, I don't mind heights actually, I quite like thrills. <laughs> you know, I do, call me old fashioned if you like. The older I've got, I, I don't do anything. Like That's great, isn't it? <laughs> what of you? Huh? It's what bad, isn't it? Like you. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> what a gorgeous day. Ooh, Mum and Gran should be leaving for the theatre soon. We're going to the Opera House to see Jane. You excited? <laughs> yes, I'm always excited. I think I worry more than she does. Oh, I'm taking my mother today. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. I love to see Jane. She was there when Jane was born, and she's been part of a, a life all the way through, you say. Woo! Oh, it's drafty up here. All the way up. All the all way up. Way. Don't go half. Oh, my legs won't stand it. Well, they better. Oh, gosh, Different. right at the top. She's always been a nervous child. She was yeah. always nervous. How she's doing this, I'll never know. But as soon as she takes the microphone in her hand, she's, she forgets all about it. She's off. And how do you feel when you see your little girl up there and all those people? Petrified. <laughs> she's marvellous. 
As a baby she was as well. Yeah. <laughs> she used to dance in the mirror. Of course she was two years old. <laughs> It's fantastic. It's fantastic up here. It's cold, <laughs> but it's fantastic. Ohio. Wow, look at that, the Winter Garden Opera House. That's where I'm going to be tonight. Yes. On that huge good. stage. Now I'm on top of the world. All right. Actually, Henrik, can you put these on, on the... No, you're wearing them. No, I want, I want you to put <laughs> this tighter now, because it's... You want to do what? You know, the bottom... No, not there, because I've got to tighten the bust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many? Are you a little frightened of your new celebrity? I suppose I am, yes, in a way. Yeah, I suppose I am. Because it's, I've never had it before, so it's, it's just something different. So, uh, but it's a challenge again, and, and you know me, Chris, I like a challenge. What do you say to the people that say, well, it's unfair, just, it's just luck for you. you, you happen to be on the telly, so you've got the breaks. Mm -hmm. You know, why you and nobody else? I say you're damn right. I was just lucky. I was just lucky. There's so much talent out there, Chris, you won't believe. And it, I am. I'm, I'm very, very lucky. I've just been lucky. I was there when you were filming, and that's obviously giving me the kickstart I needed. So, um, but it could have been anybody, this. But just as you said, now you've got to live up to that now. Yeah, yeah. But I'll have a go. Who have we got out there tonight? Who's, who's, who's rooting for you out there tonight? Well, we've got Tony and Wendy, my brother and sister-in-law, my mother and my grandmother. Exactly. My grandmother's 92, oh, and uh, she hasn't been out of the house for ages. Come on, my love. That's it. This is a very special night for her. And she all she kept saying was, I just want to see you be a star. So I'm just hoping tonight she sees that, because she's so special. And Jane, can you see that? Yeah. Is it lovely? Lovely. I'll try my best. You're rooting for me, aren't you? I know you will. Thanks, darling. See you. OK. I'll see you on the set. OK. OK. See you later. Yeah. Oh, it must be round there. Don't look like a star. You do, darling. Oh, God. Every inch. <laughs> You've got a good view tonight. Yes, that's lovely. Hello? Are you having your party mood tonight, yeah? Yeah, we've got a great show, of course, the star of the show. You've seen her on television, and she's a lovely lady, yes? And do you know what? She hasn't changed. She pulled up in her Rolls Royce. She spoke to me, she said, shift. I think she said that. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got a great, great show. You've got about 50, 10, 15 minutes. Okay, I'm right, vocals you, on now. You want me to call for you, or are you just going to amble down and, and wander around backstage and do, are you going to stay here and... I don't know, what do you think? It depends on how nervous you are. Oh, I'm pretty nervous now. Right. It's going to be all right, isn't it? It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> it's going to be all right. Is it a nice audience? All right, it's not, isn't it? The fabulous audience. So this fellow's coming home from the pub all night, he's been in the pub all night, and this woman of the night accosts him on the pavement, and she propositions him. He said, I'm sorry, I haven't got any money, love. I've been in the pub all night. She said, well, how much have you got? He went, I've got a five pound note, that's it. She said, that'll do. I'll give you a penguin for that. We've got four minutes to go. <gasps> Come on then, let's go. Are you excited? Oh, absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> she said, what's a penguin? She said, I'll show you. So she undid his pants and pulled them down to his ankles. She stood up, grabbed the five pound note and ran off and he went, hey, let me come back. Fantastic, thank you. Thank you. Magnificent. I thought a slinky but long. You look gorgeous, is that? Well, that's a bit of a dicky aspect, love it. Bloody gorgeous. You know, for me to stand here and introduce a particular good old friend of mine and a dear pal, good club lamp pal, it's a joy. Believe me, it's a real deep joy. I'm so pleased for her. You're going to give her a massive welcome. Please welcome to the stage the brilliant Jane MacDonald. <laughs>
me, you're at Blackpool Opera House, you believe it? Hello? Is everybody all right? And yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Danish man is here tonight. Have we got any house lights? No, we have, yes. Where are you, sweetheart? Just like, oh, hello, love. There he is. You're my world, you're every breath I take. You're my world, you're every move I make. Other eyes see the stars up in the sky. But for me, As the trees reach to the sky above Then my arms reach out to you, my love With your hand resting in mine Just absolutely gobsmacked, as we say up now. And there's one thing, ladies and gentlemen. You can take the girl out of Yorkshire, but you'll never take the Yorkshire out of this girl. But above all, I You could see this. Yeah. You know, I'm oh. so glad you're well enough to come. I really am. I've just left for this bit. Oh, bless you. Yeah. Oh, it's meant yeah. so much yeah. you being here, Gran. Lovely. It really has. Give us a kiss. <laughs> mm. I love you to death. You know that. Yes, I know. And my old mammy. Uh, yeah, there's all weeping buckets, didn't you, tonight? Oh, bless you. <laughs> 
This yeah, is the one that keeps good. me on the straight and narrow, I can tell you. That was great. Thank oh, you, darling. Yes. Thank you. That was lovely. Well, for my mum to say that were great, <laughs> it's something else, because she'll say, well, it went all right, but... But... <laughs> you did this and you stopped my, you know... Well, but I've got to keep my feet on the floor. Look, Vanilla, yeah. does she keep my feet on the floor? I'll <laughs> oh, my goodness, babe! <laughs> oh, say, is that really me? Well, this is lovely. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Look, you got me well enough again, look what you're like. Oh, Can I borrow a pen? Yeah. Thanks, Cheers. darling. Cheers. Cheers. Shall I put it across my nose? Because that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Tomorrow. 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 Yeah, right here. Hey, Chris, this is all right, isn't it? <laughs> Blackpool was fantastic, but it just got better. A month later, I came down to London to start recording my album. It was just a dream come true. The car waiting for us out here. I've always got people waiting for me everywhere now. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Look, this can't be mine. This can't be mine. This is not mine, is it? Who are you waiting for? Oh my God! This is mine. <laughs> oh, are you sure this is for me? Oh my God, oh, look at this. Quick, get this in the camera shot. Oh, I wish my mother were here to see this. Oh, I like this, this is wonderful. Is this what happens then when you get a recording contract? I don't know. Can I be your friend? Oh yes, please, <laughs> but you are, darling, you are, Chris. It's another world, isn't it? Mind you, I'm beginning to like it, <laughs> It's like, once you get up to a certain level, everything changes, you know, yeah. and, uh, I don't deal with cash at all now. There was a lot to going in a club, getting your gear up the stairs, doing the night, and then getting paid in the hand at the end of it. But now I don't see any money. Everything's taken care of, and it's really, really strange. I mean, I've always dreamed that I'd have a big house and a swimming pool, but I think everybody dreams that, don't they? Or is it just me? But I always wanted to do something with my life. I mean, I'm so pleased now that this has happened. You know, it's fantastic. I don't worry who's going to pay the mortgage next week. I do. You know, all my life I've had people saying, I'm going to do this for you and I'm going to do that for you. And I think, yeah, right, you know. So I always, until it's actually happening to me, I never believe it. But this is, this is actually happening now. <laughs> so it's tremendous. Do you know the way to San Jose? I'm going back to find some peace of mind in San Jose. LA is a great big freeway. Put a hundred down and buy a car. In a week, maybe two, they'll make you a star. That's going to be tremendous, Jane. Yeah. Don't you know? So don't do the fancy things all the time. Save them. Yeah. Because something simpler with the power of your voice will be more effective at the end of the day. So don't think you have to try too hard, because that's what will make it sound like you're singing it in a club. You're my world, you are my night and air. You're my world, your every prayer. I pray if our love ceases to be But never beaten, torn apart, but not defeated. No matter what you do, keep fighting on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No matter what you do, keep fighting on. Whoa, whoa. No matter what you do.
want to hear it at work. Oh dear, this is just a rough mix. Says thank God. <laughs> Get rid of her at last. Are you going out what? to America tomorrow? I'm going out tomorrow. Yes. I can't believe I haven't packed a thing. <laughs> My mother's got the washer going as we speak. <laughs> so uh, I keep it on because she does everything for me. You know. <laughs> you mean you keep me on? <laughs> Very much so. Yes. Sometimes I think it's never going to come, and then all of a sudden I think, oh, I haven't got enough time. <laughs> Jane, your granny, of course, she's not coming to the wedding, is she? Yeah, my grand, she just said to me, I'll be thinking of you. And she was telling my mum earlier that she's bought a new outfit to sit on the day and she'll, she'll you know, raise a glass. So it's just heart-rendering that she can't be there, but she just can't travel. And obviously, someone else who won't be there is my dear old dad. But in his own way, he will be there. Do you sometimes think, Jane, that your dad might actually know what's been happening in your life? He's got to do. I don't think this would have all happened if it weren't for me, Dad, you know? He was always with me before. He went on the road with me and to every club with me. So I just feel he's still here. This is where my dad spent nearly all his time. He loved it up here. And it's the allotments. We actually scattered my dad's ashes up here. So it's just over four and a half years ago. And this is Len who we used to know, who was taking over my dad's job, actually, because um, yeah. my dad used to be boss man, didn't he? Right. My dad was boss at allotments. It seems really strange coming back here. In fact, when my dad died, I had to give up the clubs. Every club I went into, people used to say, where's your dad? You know, because he was such a larger-than-life character. I couldn't keep going through ev that every night, so that's when I ran away to sea. I ran away to sea. To the cruise ships. Uh-huh, certainly did. It's a pity he wasn't here to see you. That's the only thing what he lived for, for the, to get on. Oh, that's nice of you to say that, Len. Call it true love. Yeah. He always says so. Oh. I mean, they can't say more than the truth, can they? Oh, God oh, bless you. Give us a look at that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Are they going down there on Thursday? I can't. I'm off to America tomorrow. Oh. I'm off to get married, love. <laughs> yeah. Married tomorrow. Aye. Well, all that happened, and then bang. Three days ago, I was back in Miami getting ready for the wedding. And it was like, which life am I in now? The first thing I did, I went straight to my favorite lingerie shop for the wedding night attire. Oh, way. Lace as far as the eye could see. I won't mind, but they're not on long, are they? <laughs> you shouldn't really be in here, should you? <laughs> slippers, wow. With the slippers with their little lace black. Oh, God. I look like a bag of spanners in that. Oh, that's oh, nice. Do you like that? That's quite, it's quite, it's very virginal, isn't it? Virginal and ridiculous. I think I've got to try this on, haven't I? Right off. <laughs> Once again, scoot. Scooty doot doot. Yeah, that's a good idea. Bye for now. Bye. Right, 
it's a G-string. Right, get your legs oh, in there. It's a G-string. How are you doing in there? Great. Well, <laughs> <laughs> We're having a good time. Can I look too? Just a sec. Right. Can she? Ready. Wow. Come on. Can I come in? Yeah. Gorgeous. Oh, no. Yeah? Oh, I love it now. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you little tinker. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have let you in there, Chris. Anyway, then it was two days ago that I was back on a cruise ship, not as a singer, not as a worker, but as a bride-to-be. Me and me old mates are here. Hey, everyone. I've got this awful feeling of deja vu. Yes. Give us a kiss. This has been an extraordinary year for you. And do you think that if it went away tomorrow, you'd be upset? I wouldn't, know. It's been a, an unbelievable dream come true for me. And if the bubble burst tomorrow and everything stopped, thanks a lot. It's been fab. It really has. The main thing, of course, is tomorrow. You're getting married to the man you love. Yeah. It was just gorgeous. I've never been as excited or so looking forward to making a commitment in my, ever in my life. He's just, I've waited a long time to find him and he's just the most wonderful guy I've ever met. But what can I say? <laughs>I was, yeah, it, start, it started just as I'd finished painting my nails. And I thought, right, now I'm going to sleep. Could I sleep? Could I help? <laughs> so, Henrik, big day today. It's a very big day today. Excited? Very. It's going to be a, <laughs> a long day. We are very early. But it's going to be a very exciting day. Finally, it's, finally we're here. We've been talking so much about this for yeah, more than six months. So uh, it's good to be here. I can't believe I'm, I'm here, you know, actually going through with this now. But I'm excited about it. I'm ready to get married now. Jane has always her heart on the right spot. She's uh, a very honest person, a caring person. And uh, she loves me. He's just a wonderful, wonderful, caring man. And, uh, and I adore him. I love him to death. You want to be sick in a bucket now, don't you? <laughs> hello? Hello, Gran. Oh, hello. I'm just about to get married. Oh, you're just about to? Yes. Are you shaking yet? Yeah, I am shaking now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just miss you so much, and we really wish you were here. Getting a lovely partner. Yes, I know. <laughs> what time is the wedding? It's in about. How long is it worth? Another hour. I was just thinking about you all day. Oh. You take care. We love you okay. loads, Gran. See you, love. I love to Henry. See you. I will, my I'll darling. Okay. You take care. We love okay. you loads, Gran. See you, love. Yes. Bye. Love you. Oh, thanks, Bye. Gran. Bye. Sorry again. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm, I'm neck and above. Five to two. Twenty minutes. We're leaving in about ten minutes. Yeah, we go from here ten minutes. Should we go up there? Yeah. Wait. Then we just need to go there and get it over. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh, Granville! Uh, Thank you, my darling. You're a sweet. Yeah, Me too. Oh, it's very good luck to you and Thank prosperity. You. Thank you. This is the darling. moment you've been waiting for. Oh, it certainly Excellent is. Excellent moment. It took me a few years to get this one. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you later. See you later. See you later. See you later. Yeah. Need a mint. My mouth's like Gandhi's flip flop at the moment. <laughs> this is how you will. Oh, wow. Arrive. And all you have to do is just flip that back. Yeah. There you are. Okay. Oh. So you'll have to come running up. I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna be I'm gonna be right behind you all the way. Gorgeous. Uh -huh. So do you. Oh, I've got my scan on. <laughs> Don't set me off, we haven't even got there yet. Is the car here? Oh, it is. It's warm. <laughs> I turn around and sit that way. OK. OK, sweetheart. Oh, God. I'm going to start crying again in a minute. All that work they've done, don't cry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Henry says um, not to not to go shopping on the way. Oh, we're not to go shopping. Yeah. Oh, she didn't have room for a credit card. I know. It won't fit anywhere. <laughs> I can't believe next time we come back to the ship, I'll be Mrs. Brixton. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's taken a long time, hasn't it, this wedding? <laughs> yeah. We've got there. Yeah. We're going. It took me two and a half years to get him to ask me to marry him. <laughs> And do you know what? Did it ship us by? <laughs> so thanks, Mum. <laughs> oh. Well, it was ironing that did it for me. <laughs> yeah, ironing. <laughs> Just because you could iron. Oh, no. Just because I could iron. I wonder what I caught mine with then. Cooking. He always says it's my cooking. Oh, it's your cook. So come on, Tony. How did you get our Wendy? I just can't talk about it in <laughs> Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> this is fab, isn't it? I am so proud of my gorgeous family. We have come together this afternoon to celebrate the wedding of Henrik and Jane. In honor of the sacred pledge you two are about to make, please join right hands. Now keep a grip on her, Henrik. This is, this is where they slip away. <laughs> Henrik, do you take Jane to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, so long as you both may live? Yes, I do. And Jane, do you take Henrik to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, in sickness and in health, in prosperity or adversity, to love and to cherish so long as you both may live? Yes, I do. Outstanding. Henrik, you take her rings and put them on. I, Henrik, take you, Jane, to be my wife. 
I promise you love. I promise you love. Honor and respect. Honor and respect. And not to forsake you. And not to forsake you. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. I, Jane, take you, Henrik, to be my husband. I promise you love. I promise you love. Honor and respect. Honor and respect. And not to forsake you. And not to forsake you. So long as we both shall live. Inasmuch as you, Henrik, and you, Jane, have demonstrated your intentions by the joining of hands, the giving and receiving of a ring, and have promised yourselves to each other in the face of God and these witnesses, in accordance with the laws of the United States Virgin Islands, and more importantly, by the highest power that rules the land and the seas, I pronounce you may, henceforth and hereafter, be known to all as husband and wife. Yes. You may now kiss each other. Ladies and gentlemen, I may I be it. the first to uh, present <laughs> the new Mr. and Mrs. Henrik Brixen. <laughs> All going oh, right. I'm fine, darling. How are you? Yeah. You look gorgeous. You look about yourself, love it, actually. Oh, God, I'm not kidding you, Jane. You look radiantly gorgeous. So you just love this now? <laughs> no. Don't make it flip over, again. We can't do that. Yeah. That's a Danish tradition. If it flips over, it means the mother-in-law's going to be alright. <laughs> Thank God it stays there. But it stayed like that, so my mother's okay. <laughs> Cheers, Jen. Cheers, darling. For you and me. Cheers. Let's always be as happy as we are today. Yes, yes. <laughs> Jane, you look absolutely gorgeous. And I am extremely proud to be your husband. This is the biggest day of my life, really. It is. I really, really do look forward to share the rest of our lives together. Me too. I hope our marriage will also bless us with kids because you will be a wonderful mother. I have tried to find a good way to end the speech, so uh, I'm just going to let everybody know, and you know, Dan, that I love you oh. very, very much. <laughs> oh, God. because it's going to yes. go. It's, uh, the dress is wet through. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, no. What's that? We got it. Just get us back to the ship. Oh, no. What time is it? Oh. 45, so I don't know what we're actually doing right here. No, this will be the final shot, you see. That's why. Oh, that's a good idea. So just keep walking. Let's keep walking here. Because knowing Chris will put this in for the credits, the old ham that he is. Just keep walking. Oh, 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 stood on a stone. Here's to Jane and Henrik and all the love and life in front of them. Two tickets for the World Cup final. Sunday night on BBC One. I love the excitement of a great football game. The three tenors set the scene at 4.35 with passion and drama from the heart of Paris. And then at 7... World-class international football. Live, uninterrupted coverage as France take on the mighty Brazil. Will the EastEnders make it to the match? Sunday night on BBC One. Film drama on BBC Two in a moment, the concluding part of Small Sacrifices, starring Ryan O'Neill and Farrah Fawcett. 
This is BBC One. In five minutes, the nine o'clock news. Now, a party political broadcast by the Labour Party. I hope the Labour Party aren't going to let the NHS down. They must be seen to be doing something. I think it's awfully important that it doesn't become uh, just crisis management. They need to get off their butts and sort it out, Mr T. Of course, as I said during the election, it is going to take time to turn our country round. We can't provide the extra doctors, nurses, hospital beds, operating theatres, overnight or even in a year. But what you have every right to expect is that we set about the job immediately. You also have the right to expect that this new Labour government has a plan not just to repair the damage to our National Health Service, but to build it so that it becomes a world-class health service fit for the 21st century. I want tonight to set out our five-point plan for this government to modernise the National Health Service for the future. Number one, more money. If your operation comes at the wrong time in the financial year, you're not necessarily going to get it. More money needs to be put into doctors and nurses. Since the election, of course, we have injected an extra £2 billion into the health service. That's £5 million extra every day this year. But it's not just about money. We need to spend the money in a better way. Number two, less waiting. The thing is, you can't choose when you're going to be sick. Usually you get referred to a specialist or something and then you've got, you know, you've got an appointment in six months' time. It's no secret that it will take time. But we've put in an extra £500 million to getting the waiting list down. We've appointed a specialist team of people who are going to go round the country, making sure we can get the list down quicker. And there is good news. Waiting lists are now turning round and starting to come down. Number three, higher quality treatment. You feel rather in you're causing them trouble rather than being a patient. They're understaffed, they're making decisions that they shouldn't have to make very quickly. The tragic deaths of those children who had heart operations in Bristol filled me with horror. That's why we've brought forward plans to make sure every hospital is now monitored and GPs and patients can get details of the success.